Hi everyone, how are you going? I'm going to do some coaster today and I'm going to make them a bling bling. I'm going to have two colours of blue and then on top of that I'm then going to put some silver and blue glitter with these and I'll do it over three um, layers. Colour, and I'm using my epoxy 360 surfboard resin which is absolutely fantastic and I should be able to put the second coat on this within a couple of hours. The two blues I'm using are sky blue and deep azure. So we'll see how we go. Quite excited to do this. Haven't done enough resin pouring lately but we shall see how we go today. Love the blues and they should be a little bit sparkly pearlesque pearlesque as well so what i'm aiming to do is pinch them now i've got to put pour equally into the four moles so we'll just see how we go Just want this a little bit more even down there. Try and keep it a rough line because I'm going to put glitter in the centre. These should level out so that they're just covering the bottom of the mould. If it doesn't quite level out, I'll just warm up the resin a little bit so it blows a little bit easier. That one looks pretty good. That one's done. This is the one that the first one I did, I wasn't sure how much to put in, so I'm a little bit light on this one. Oh, something's dropped in there. Come out. And then that one's fine. This one could use a little bit more. Let's put just a little bit too much in that one. Anyway, we'll make it we'll make it reach a major issue.
Well, that was really hard, wasn't it? Well, I've got to do now is wait for these to set up for a couple of hours and then I'm going to put some glitter on top of them in the blues with some liquid glass, try out liquid glass. And then once that dries, I will then put a layer of clear, don't drop your stick in there, clear resin on top to cover the, the glitter. Uh, well, we'll give it a couple of hours and we'll see how we go. Um, might just pop my bottle, pop, pop my bubbles, not my bottles, my bubbles, with my little torch. Only using a little torch because I don't want it to burn my mould. Right, and you can see even already how you've got that double ring. But as this starts to set up, you'll see resin comes in from the outside in, and it will just that ring will no longer be there. It'll just be as it is on the outside there. So, yes, it's uh, looking good so far. So I'll just keep popping the bubbles from these off and on and I'll come back to you in a second when they're all set up. <clears throat> I've made some coasters in two colors of blue being that one and that one being deep azure and sky blue and now I'm going to put some bling on it through there and come across there I'll show you what I'm doing as I go and I'm just going to use a little bit of tri art gloss finish as sort of my my glue to put onto the glitter in Instead of using resin, I'll use this because it gives you a longer working time. And then tomorrow morning, I will be putting a uh, putting a clear coat of resin on the top of it to seal in, in the glitter. I'll be putting the glitter on with a, this, brushing it on with a brush. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I should have had my, I should have had my try art open before I started the video but anyway that doesn't matter right now how do I get this out of here <coughs> right very shortly squeeze a bit in here. Don't need too much I don't think. Just a little. That would be heaps. Right. Now this gorgeous blue. It's sort of like a Holographic blue it is. Beautiful colour. Let's try that for a start. And that silver. because I want to get it open, it won't open all much. Come on, you can do it. Oh. Need a little bit more of this silver because there'll be more of it on there than the blue. Let's see how we go with that. Oh, 
that might be right. I think it's nice and thick, so it should spread nicely with the thing. Look at that. Nice and holographic and silver. And then our blue, which is a bit chunkier than the silver. At least that should be pretty good too, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the I'm just going to put a little bit of silver down here. And then I'm just going to go backwards and forwards across. The brush might be a little bit brush might be a little bit thick where I've just got to use the tip of it. A bit too much there it out. I think I might add a little bit of finer. Oh gosh, silver just went everywhere. <laughs> Glitter goes everywhere. I'm just going to add a bit of finer silver to, to do this and I might go and get a slightly thinner brush. this well, it's not going to work much better either I need. Maybe just use the back of the the end of the the brush. Don't actually use the the brush part. Oh, that's better. That looks a bit blingified. A little bit more in here. So you can bling it out a bit more. Just got to get it at the right angle and just go backwards and forwards so it's not. One down, three to go. Yeah, the saying, more speed, less haste, and I won't just put stuff all over the place. Do it like this. I 
suppose by the time I get the fourth one, it'll look like it's what, it, what I was trying to get. did don't you I pressed in on it and I shouldn't have oh. hopefully I can cover it up with this this is still if I can put my finger in it and I can leave a mark on it so I can't, I could touch it and it's not sticky, but it's still going to leave a mark if I push down too hard. I just made up a really good amount of this um, Silver, not going to be much left at all. And we'll do a little bit of the blue. The blue won't be as much as the silver. Just can put a little bit of
nearly finished. These two are spread further than this one up here, the first one, even though this is not. This doesn't, just doesn't seem to spread as far. That'll do. Well, this one needs a little bit more blue on it. I've lost my blue down the centre. That will do. Not bad. Looks good. And tomorrow when it dries, I'll then put on a clear coat of resin and voila. Finished. And then I might do a silver border around them. Okay. All done. I'll bring you down for a, a close look. see where the, the colours actually meet in the middle. I might have gone a little bit heavy handed with the glitter but this is the first one I've done so that's the way it is. Okay, see you next time. Till we're ready to put the top coat on. Bye. I'm ready to do the next layer on my bling bling coasters putting a top coat on of the Platinum 360 Epoxy Resin. Um, it is a heat proof resin so it's just brilliant for coasters, for coffee and whatever. I've mixed up approximately 200 mils of resin and then I'm just going to put that on the top to seal in the glitter. I'll just put some in the centre and see how it travels. And then go on top up as needed. I want these to dome so that then I don't have to do anything with the edges and then I will paint the edges in silver which will come out really nice with the, with the glitter. resin self-leveling so it's just pour a bit 
let it set and do its own thing and then pour a bit more until you've reached the height what in them in them coasters this is a fantastic resin it doesn't have many bubbles in it it's dry it's crystal clear this one's nearly there and a little bit more you probably can't even see it through the video slowly probably these coasters probably take about a hundred mils of resin each in all their layers it's hard, it's hard to tell actually where the resin goes to it's so clear Oh yes, it's all done in there. I couldn't couldn't actually see where the resin was. It was just now. I'll get down and have a little look and see which ones need some more. This could use a little bit more. This one could use a fraction more. I probably like need about a half a teaspoon each, and that's all I'll need because you don't want to break the surface tension of the of the resin because otherwise then it'll spill outside your mould and you get overflow which we don't now like that one's fine this one could probably take another half a teaspoon They all look like they're doming nicely and I have a little bit left. So what I'm actually going to do is tip it in with the glitter I had last night and I'm going to put it in my little heart. heart last night so but I've still got a little bit of glitter left over so we'll just see because I've got a another product in this besides the, the glitter it'll just be interesting to see how it reacts with the with the resin more out of that. I'll mix that in. And then I'll take my teeny 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 piece of blue I've got left. Put that in. Don't think you're even going to see the blue in that and it's going white. Look at that. Yucky. 
don't know whether it'll even set actually. I think the triart varnish that I've actually put in with the glitter, or the glitter because it's been sitting overnight, has gone milky. But you never know unless you try, do you? See, that's that thick. I don't think it's even going to self-level or anything. <laughs> put it in around the edges and then nothing comes of it nothing comes of it oh well no harm in trying Just give that a little bit of a torch. I'll just wipe my spoon. Things I've used off first so that I can reuse them. I'll wipe out my dish in a minute so I can reuse that. Then I'll just give it a little bit of a torch and it's done. All we have to do then is let it set up, which will be about six hours so I'll be able to look at it this afternoon and put the silver on and unmold it. There we go. Looks good. Excellent. Alright, well I'll see you when I'm ready for the unmolding. It's time to unmold. They've, they've dried to touch, but I'm still going to be a little bit careful with them because I don't want them to, to mark. This was my triart that I added to the glitter and the resin. I don't think it's going to firm up. It's very soft and bendy. It was just to see what would happen with it. Right, we shall get them out. They come out so easy out of these moulds. So, so easy looks um beautiful so smooth and then I'll probably do the sides with silver that's just the back you've just got the blue and the the white so that's oh better watch the sides I can see where they're bending a little bit they're still very soft on that top area I think I might leave the leave the putting the silver on the edge until tomorrow morning but they have turned out so nice and they could still be a little bit soft on top but the the back is are all the same so that's great I'll just move that out of the road and I'll just sit them there and let them stay flat till morning and then we will do uh, the silver around the edge and show you what the finished product looks like so happy that this so sparkly and smooth beautiful very happy just wanted to bring in close and show you how the holographic glitter just so shiny and sparkly the beautiful this glitter is from Larissi I've now finished off my coasters and I've put an edging of silver around them. They look absolutely beautiful. They've turned out as good, if not better, than what I thought. And um, it's all just all this glitter and sparkle. And that's the pen I've used, the Deco Colour Premium in the silver. Dries pretty quickly and just finishes them off. Very happy now to try red and gold. <laughs> 